Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Top Tier PvP YouTube channel. My name is Brendan. In this video for today, we're going to be discussing um, what, how, and why to use macron, oh, macrons, um, macros for PvP and PvE related content um, for your specific class character. Um, in the description below, I'll be posting um, the links associated with it, which is a brief description in addition to um, some macros that are already pre-built that you can look to simply and comp copy and paste in your um, in your macro tab that you'll be looking and I'll be demonstrating that today as well too how to build and also execute macros um, via a bit of like PvP action and so forth so um, just a brief description of what macros are before we start uh, macros are bodies of instructions that when pressed create and execute a certain task a simple arena macro that is often used is the arena 1, 2, and 3 targeting system for quick target swapping. Without using a macro, a player would have to manually click the enemy character's nameplate, character body, or use tab in order to target them. By using a macro like target arena 1, I'm sorry, slash target arena 1, and assigning it to a keybind, you can simply press a button, uh, a button in your character, character, will, character will automatically target the enemy player who is labeled as arena 1. Macros encompass a world of different possibilities, ranging from cooldown stacking, targeting, kicking, and even dispelling. By going through this guide and gaining an understanding of the practices involved with making macros and how they work, you're sure to crush your own personal goals in the World of Warcraft arena. Macros will not and cannot make a smart decision for you, nor can they break any of the game's basic rules like global cooldown. One press of the macro will equate to one button click. You cannot get around this. Um, so that's just a general introduction to what macros are and generally the why you would need them. And I'll be demonstrating the how aspect of macros. Um, you could find that particular description on wahad.com. I'll be posting a link to below as well um, as reference for that um, description of what macros are. It's a great reference tool if you're looking to um, create and you know access the macro interface and learn more about that too as we go along in this video. Um, so yeah. Um, Let's start. We can head over to the macro tab. So what we're going to do to start to access that tab is to press escape on your, or get to the game menu for that matter, escape on your keyboard. Uh, work your way down and you'll notice about halfway through you'll see macros. Um, just above add-ons here if you have any add-ons or just below edit mode. I'm going to work your way into micro uh, macros. Uh, you can see some additional icons that are listed under general macros. macros. I have those already listed up currently just because the those are from an a, from an alt, so those aren't my particular mains. I actually have a druid that I'm working on too, and so I use those as star falls and so forth in order to, uh, you know, spam my moonfires, etc. and so forth. So it's really effective usage. It just keeps my rotation for my spells really to a really minimum. Allows me to be more effective with my targeting as well too, um, as well so I don't have to click and use my mouse often in team fights, so I can you know, contribute more and get more damage output faster um, and so forth. So what you'll see here, um, we'll start with the general macros tab. And this is basically just, you know, your macros that have kind of like added up and so forth, just in general that haven't been saved particularly to a specific class or character. Um, so what you're going to be doing is just, um, um, yeah, you know, actually, let's go to specifics to start. Let's forget about Jack general macros for now, because it's pretty much the same concept. It's just not assigned to my character. I'm currently on my Discipline Priest at the moment, uh, Testrillian, so we're going to go to Testrillian Specific Macros tab. You can see I already have four macros already built, and these were for pre-made sets that I had found online um, in relation to three of my spells, Power Word, Shield, Penance, and Angelic Feathers, which are incredibly useful tools for PvE and PvP related content. Um, there are other, and there are plenty of others, and you can actually create macros to stack cooldown. So if you want to cast like a Power Word Infusion along with Archangel or Dark Angel, you can kind of get that additional, um, um, you know, like stacking of cooldowns and so forth associated with that particular macro. So I'll be going over that um, sometime today myself when I'm kind of on my own time. But as of right now, these are the macros I'll be de demonstrating for today, today's video. Um, so as the first macro to start, it's absorb shield. You can see the macro commands are listed under enter macro commands. Um, and those macro commands that you can find online, they have they have it at you know icveins.com. I'll be posting 
uh, description below if you're interested in acquiring those particular you know macro um, uh, settings or commands for that matter in order to just copy and paste them into this particular command setting um, in order to get your macro um, so yeah so let's just start it from scratch what we're going to be doing first um, we're going to be heading to new we're going to forget about these and actually we're going to create a new macro for today we're going to hit new um, so depending on what macro a spell that you use you can find the icon associated with that spell and so if you're looking for like renew um, for like a macro for renew if you wanted to cast renew on a player um, you know with the mouse button you could find the spell associated with renew there it is it's that icon right there you'll see it at the top right corner of the tab this is currently selected that's the photo that you're going to be using for that particular macro and as you can see it's power shield pendant so what you want to do is find the relation of what spell that you're using and find the actual icon so you can attribute to that spell you know when you're casting it it's a great way just to remember it and so forth so uh, the macro name is just going to be a general name of the macro um, and kind of a little bit of an action associated with that particular spell and so penance um, i chose to do penance harm one and then penance heal because one does again as you may familiar with penance as a spell as it does damage output and then it, if you're looking on an enemy character and it does healing output on an ally so what you want to do is um, separate the two make sure you're separating them. I do have the same icon it's not going to really matter myself but I'm going to do more harm rank than healing for my penance so I'll likely end up just using one at a time um, so yeah let's go back to new uh, we're going to head back and just work on a renew macro so let's just say renew single target I guess or it's renew heal I guess I don't know. something within the lines of what the action is and what the actual spell is is preferred so uh, what you're gonna do now is just click OK and again you can choose from whatever icon that you want but honestly just easily just remember it easier is just to choose the icon associated or the, the, the yeah the icon associated with the spell makes you less confused of when you're casting you know Silence as a holy priest or whatever I'm gonna do so it just doesn't make sense to do it that other way unless you're a shadow priest so, so we're gonna hit to OK it's gonna click it there pretty straightforward very easy to you know put up macros um, what you're gonna just define online is to look up macro commands if you don't know from if you're not familiar with how to insert macro command yourself like I still not um, I would just go online and find macros associated with renew or macros associated with heal or powered radiance or powered barrier etc in order just to copy and paste that particular macro command and add it into your enter macro commands tab so you can just kind of like control C and then control V we would allow it to copy and paste you can see there that's the angelic feather one that I was doing last which is associated with this macro here um, so that's pretty much the straightforward what you're gonna do is just make sure you save it as well too after the macro has been built so just make sure you're saving it and it'll save it to your tabs under your specific macros I can't stress it enough to make sure just to keep everything organized is to keep these specific macros in a your specific characters class so if you have a death knight you have a monk etc make sure you're having specific macro tabs as opposed to general tabs the general tabs can be used for more like you know enchanting and I don't know what other macros you can use for professions or general PVE related content um, as a universal spell I guess or something like that so otherwise st stick with more of the specific macro macros tab as opposed to general macros um let's see yeah so it's pretty much straightforward go through each of these individual macros just find them online if you want to delete a macro just go to you know highlight the macro itself and just to delete um there afterwards and you can edit it too as well if need be to go back to the actual name the icon you can just edit the macro command if need be too as well but yeah i'm just going to go ahead and delete this one that we looked to build um that's what the macros are generally going to look like too as well those kind of hashtag show tool tips they all look relatively similar besides the actual spell name um, and the casting ability and such like that, but it usually starts out with like a hashtag show tooltip slash etc cetera, etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So just look up online, it's a great way. Again, I'll post some descriptions and I'm sorry, some links in the description below that can just you know allow you to look into additional macros to make sure you're just you know casting your abilities more efficiently in arenas or be rated BGs or BGs for that matter as well. If you want to practice it, best idea would just be started off with BGs. Um, 
and where is you know you can implement that into arenas and so forth and there are arena specific macros as opposed to bgs you know so take a look into that you can find more information online associated with those but as a general pvp macros they'll have a list of those that you can choose from in order to implement them onto your action bar um, the next would be the last but not least before we look to actually execute the macros that i've built right here you're going to be it's pretty much just like a an action bar so what you're going to be doing is just macroing it by like making sure you're clicking and dragging all the way to the action bar of where you're going to be putting it so as you can see here as the absorb shield um, So the absorb shield looks like it's going to be placed up on you uh, or anything else rather than the actual target. So again, I'm not so familiar with. Uh, no, I guess it's not. I guess it's actually placed on enemies too, allies too as well. So uh, the next we're going to be checking out the penance, uh, penance harm. Let's see if this one works just fine. So again, the penance arm and the penance seal is going to be more attributed to you when you're actually in like you know battles and so forth, as opposed to anything else. So just be aware of that. Kind of a little, pretty difficult to test out macros while you're just in like this little you know, spot, depending on if you have any targeting, um, you know, targeting abilities and so forth. So you can see they their macros work though. They're actually casting something. So. Uh, let's see what we got here. Right, so, so you can see here, this is going to be very useful in um, RPGs. It's just to cast the Angelic Feather. It gives you like kind of that additional one to two seconds of casting Angelic Feather right underneath you. And so you can automatically cast it on yourself and not have to worry about casting it on the ground. So it's like a self-cast. Power Shield is a self-cast too as well. So um, just remember that as you're... If, you know, my priest in particular, this is self-casting. So that's what the angelic feathers, the uh, utility feathers macro that I have built up is in reference to um, self-cast, basically. So I don't have to click and drag it and so forth. So you could do that with, like, mass dispel. You can also make an add macro for mass dispel and powered barrier and so forth um, to kind of cast them kind of in front of you as opposed to, you know, like in a specific target location for that matter. You can drop the barrier right in front of you. You can drop the... Um, you know, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, the barrier right in front of you. Uh, you can drop the angelic feathers right in front of you. So it's really a versatile um, way to, you know, to enhance or uh, allow the efficiency of your spells to cast quicker in order to be less, you know, stressful about casting them in a specific spot for one matter. As opposed to just dropping the, the barrier down or dropping the shield down on yourself, etc. Uh, than it is to cast them on specific targets or specific locations in the environment. So, um, so that's pretty much it for macros. Again, um, really just copy and paste these macros if you're interested in applying macros into your action bars and making your life a bit more easier and more efficient for player versus player content in particular. Just because it allows you to be kind of one step of the game, one step ahead of the game. Um, you know, during those, um, you know, arena matches, or RPGs, and so forth, with that extra second or two cast um, to get something off as opposed to not. So, hopefully, we were able to get some information associated with this video. Um, if you did like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to the top tier PvP YouTube channel. Um, I'm also in the process of, you know, building a community on Discord as well. If you're interested in joining, it's the top tier PvP Discord channel. I'll be posting the description in the link. Um, sorry, I'll be posting the link in the description below, um, and so for you to check out too as well. We have over 200, 200 members, and we're constantly growing and running RBGs and randoms and gearing alts, etc. So we're staying pretty committed to the the core aspect of you know WoW Dragonflight PVP, in addition to some additional games and so forth, such as like StarCraft and Diablo and you know some other Blizzard related games, but primarily World of Warcraft. We get involved play some games, enjoy ourselves, um, and again, if you like this uh, video, please comment, like, and subscribe, um, I'll be looking to create more content too as well in the near future, so be aware on that, 
Um, and I do have, if you're interested in supporting the Patreon, it's just $1 a month. Um, you support your content creator for additional content to be put out in order to um, just kind of like provide the community with more information and grow a community of like-minded individuals, including gamers and wow heads alike. So hopefully you enjoy your Sunday um, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.